extreme cipher and it can also uh, be called as a symmetric key encryption technique because the sender and receiver uses same key uh, so it is a symmetric key encryption technique so let's say <coughs> This is what uh, the, you know, I had discussed in previous session also that uh, how stream cipher uh, works. So I'm not discussing this today. And uh, this one uh, long back I had discussed. I think uh, you have remembered that uh, if you have a plain text in binary, something like this 1100110, and you have some key stream like this 0101011100, uh, then you can do in mean, a bit wide bit wise jar operation with you know, among these two binary strings and if you do that you know using jar you will get this result and that can be treated as cipher okay and uh, this cipher will be transmitted to the receiver end and the receiver must have the same key stream what you had used or what was used by the sender and uh, the receiver can do bit wise jar operation among the or between the cipher text and the key string and it he will uh, you know, get uh, the plain text uh, accordingly okay so this is very simple process of uh, <coughs> doing uh, you know encryption using jar but here only problem you can find that uh, um, you are sending if, if, if you are sending a simple plain text how much data you are sending you are sending basically here eight bits right but uh, when you are sending the cipher eight bit cipher you are sending that is okay but at the same time you need to securely send eight bit key stream also so total amount of data you need to send to the receiver is going to be 16 bit so that that is a big problem right if you are having a very big file say um, it is a one gb file file size is one gb then you, you have to securely transmit 2 GB, that means because it is going to be simply double. <coughs> so 2 gigabyte of data to the receiver. Okay, so we have to find out some techniques so that, uh, you know, we will not need to necessarily send the whole key stream, but some clue or some key using what the receiver can generate the key stream. Okay, <coughs> now, and here is overview of RC4. RC4 um, you know, was designed by Ron Ravist of RC Security in 1997. So you can understand this is one of the very old cipher. RC4, also known as ARC4, uh, stream cipher, it, I have already told you, it is having variable length uh, key algorithms. So the key algorithm is a uh, variable length. So there is uh, no, you know, Hard and first rule on the length of the key, then encrypts one byte at a time. So this algorithm encrypt one byte at a time. That means eight bit at a time. Then simplicity and speed in software is a good thing about us. <coughs> the algorithm uses variable length key from one to two fifty six bytes. So you can understand the minimum key length can be one byte. Maximum key length can be two. 256 byte okay to initialize a 256 byte state table so there will be a state table you will find given by capital s you know that a key is uh, used to initialize the state table okay we will see in the next uh, coming slides then the state table is used to subsequent generation of pseudo random number bytes that means uh, you know using this key and uh, if you have the state, if you can generate the state table, that using the state table, you can generate the remaining key stream. Okay, so that is what the you know, solution I was speaking about in the, in the previous slide here. That uh, you know we should not send you know equal size of key stream. Then your data, the amount of data you are sending is going to be simply double, and it is going to give you a network overhead. So. Um, RC4 uh, basically, uh, you know, also takes care of that uh, somehow, mm. and that you know, state table can generate uh, the you know um, should a random stream what you need, uh, you know, which is you know jarred with the plain text to give the cipher text. Okay, then each element in the state table 
is show up at least one. So why there is need uh, we need show upping and all these things or this technique? I will I'll go into all these things. Okay. Now there is basically two phases, fundamental phases in RC4 during a n bit key setup or n being your key length. Okay. So you know the, what is that range of your key one by two two fifty six by. The encryption key is used to generate an encrypting variable using two arrays, state and key. So you will have two array. One array will be called as state, another array will be state as, uh, you know, known as uh, key. And n number of mixing operations. So you will find there is a n number of mixing operations. Uh, in times you have to do mixing, and that mixing things involves swapping a byte modular operation and other formulas. OK, so <clears throat> this thing you can understand swapping means uh, uh, you, you know what is swapping, right? Uh, there is two value in two places, two locations. We have to just uh, swap their location, right? And modular operation also, you know, that is simply modular arithmetic uh, happens here. And next phase is ciphering. Here the ciphering is very simple, doing JAR. So this is uh, quite simple go that to the next one first one is initialization so how this uh, an algorithm is going to be initialized so as i had told you that uh, there will be a state table s basically we will find s is nothing but uh, array you can think it is a single one one d array of uh, 255 elements and these elements are nothing but 0 to 255 so s you know, entries of S are set equal to values from 0 through 255. So initially you can think uh, S about an array of size 256 and there is values from 0 to 255 in a, in, in a increasing sequence in ascending order. Okay, that is the initialization of S. Okay, like uh, S0 will hold X, S1 will, oh, sorry, S0 will hold 0, S1 will hold one and s255 will hold 255 so this is simple and understandable for all right next the temporary vector t is created so next we have to create a temporary vector t now how to create this t let's see before we go i should tell you that the size of the t is going to be equal to the size of s that means 255 is the size of S uh, 256 uh, you know, elements are there. So in T also you will have 256 element. Okay. Now if the length of key K is 256 bytes, then K is transferred to T. Simply it is transferred to T. Okay. But in RC4 I have uh, already told you in the previous uh, uh, slide that uh, that key K have option to be of any size. It can be maximum of 256, uh, put 256 bytes, right? And uh, here one byte, uh, you know, means 8 bit and 8 bit, uh, using 8 bit you can generate, uh, you know, uh, you can represent any decimal number from 0 to 255. So that is uh, what it is uh, indirectly saying. So otherwise, if you now your key is uh, say of 2 byte or say 5 byte, then what will happen? That means five by byte means five decimal numbers, right? If k is two fifty six byte, that means k is basically two fifty six decimal numbers. Okay. So otherwise, per key of length, uh, and uh, so key length is a variable bytes. This key length can be anything you know, below two fifty six between zero to two fifty six. The first key length element of t are copied to K and then K is repeated as many times as necessary to fill out the T. You understand? So in T there is how many vacant places? 256. Okay. Now say your and so that means 256 bytes you can put right in T. Now your K is a uh, four byte. Okay. That means four decimal number. So what you will do? you will uh, put t in k repeatedly sorry you will put k in t repeatedly how many until you are going to fill t 
T with K. Okay, so this is what happened here using the for loop. So I'm not uh, just uh, discussing it. Okay, then use T to produce the initial permutation of S. So once we will have T, we will generate initial permutation of S because in S, so 0 to 255 numbers are there in ascending order, in ascending order. So we have to break that at ascending order and we have to permute them randomly. But actually it is not uh, an random because we are going to permute these numbers as per the numbers we have uh, you know, put it into T. And that numbers are basically repetition of K in T, right? So let's go to the next slide. Now how initial permutation happens? We take two you know, variables i and j and i and j both are initialized to zero. You can see here, okay? Then i varies from zero to 255, okay? Then inside the for loop, first we update the value of j by doing this operation. How we do? We in the previous value of j, that means at the first iteration, the previous value of j will be 0 plus si. So at the first iteration, i is 0. So si is 0. So at the first iteration, uh, s0 is holding 0. So 0. So 0 plus 0. And ti. See so now, the first byte in your uh, key or k was representing 1. Okay. So ti will give you 1 in that case. So 0 plus 0 plus 1 mod 256 result will be 1. So this uh, j will become 1 that time. And you will show up si and sj. So i is 0 and you have calculated value of j as 1. So 0th, 0th location of s, whatever is there, that will be shifted to i jth location. Okay, and on jth location, whatever is there, that will be moved to ith location. So this thing will happen for all 55 to 55 elements in S, and uh, you know whatever is there inside S, that will be you know swapped or scrambled. Okay. Now if, if you see graphically the same thing, we have i and j. So after some time, you know initially i was zero and j was zero. After some time, say i became uh, you know i is having some value here and j is having some value here, okay? So what do we do? Mm, we do, uh, we do s, i, we just uh, retrieve from here, s, j, we retrieve from here, we add them together and you know, put them back to this s, i plus s, j location and that value is going to treat it as k key, okay? Mm, so, Two 8-bit index pointer denoted i and j, we have already told you. Okay, now if you go to the next, uh, stream generation. So in this way, what will happen? Well, no, uh, again, we will do i and j equal to zero, while true. We will calculate or update the value of i, like i equal to i plus one mod to 56, so that uh, no, this operation will assure you that i is not going to be exit the array boundary s uh, no, s array boundary which is up to 55 okay and j is uh, calculated by j plus s i mod 256 okay then you show up s i and s j then we take uh, we you know, put t equal to s i plus s j mod 256 and k is equal to s of t okay so every time it uh, this uh, happens you will get a new small k you know which is of definitely eight eight bit or one byte so every time uh, you know it generate eight byte in every iteration it generate eight byte of you know new number uh, okay uh, which is going to be treated as you know uh, you can say random should a random number or uh, say key stream okay so then once we have the key stream uh, uh, say this L is here representing the iteration, okay, like I in the previous code. Then cipher text equal to you know first byte of the plain text, jar with first byte generated by this, you know this K, okay, that is K L here. 
Okay, the first byte of the key stream and first byte of the plain text is you know, JOR. Like this, uh, uh, up to you know, how many bytes you are having in the you know, plain text, this process will continue and you will keep generating cipher text byte and all the bytes will be sent to the sender or the cipher text byte will be sent to the sender. Uh, sorry, sent to the receiver. Yeah. So, what are the keys here? Uh, often limited to 40 bits. Okay, 40 bits means uh, 5 bytes. Because of uh, export uh, restriction, that means, you know, uh, if whatever key you are choosing, you have to just share the key with the receiver also. So, if you choose a very big key, the, you know, sharing the key is going to give you overhead network overhead and security burden. Okay, and sometimes use as uh, 128 bit key also. So you can use, uh, uh, you know, it is quite popular. We okay, use with a 120 byte key. Okay, and has capacity of using keys between 1 and 2048 bits. Okay. 2048 bits means uh, how many bytes? So you just divide it by 8 and you will find it. Uh, it will be around uh, you know, 256 uh, bytes. Okay. Now, what is the strength of RC4? Um, the difficulty of knowing where any value you know, is in that table. So, it is very um, uh, you know, difficult if you are just uh, trying to find out that what are the values are there in the table, okay? The, di the difficulty of knowing which uh, location in the table is used to select each value of the sequence, that means the key stream, even if you know the key stream, you can uh, know, uh, do some reverse calculation to find out which uh, combination or which location values from the table S was used to generate this value, okay? And the encryption is about 10 times faster than the DES algorithm, okay? So these are the strength, but it is also having weakness, okay? So there is multiple vulnerabilities of RC4. RC4 is no longer considered as secure, and especially vulnerable when the beginning of the output key stream is not discarded. That means it is recommended that you know, when you start uh, generating the key stream, you just discard that don't use few bytes which are generating at the beginning of generation of the key stream. Okay, then one in every 256 keys can be a weak key. That means uh, every 256 byte you generate, uh, out of this 256, one byte or one key stream or one key will be there, which is considered as weak one. Okay, these keys are identified by gift analysis that is able to find circumstance under which one or more generated bytes are strongly correlated with a few bytes of the key. So they can just capture those you know, bytes or these, those keys and they can analyze that uh, you know, other keys, key values which are correlated to them and they can find out what is the original key. And vulnerable when non-random or related keys are used. So, like related keys means, uh, you know, that I had spoken about K. Uh, so, that K is a 4 byte and you have chosen, uh, you know, 4 byte means basically 4 decimal number here. So, 4 decimal number you have chosen say 10, 10, 10 and 10. So, it is a repetition or you know, correlated values. So, it will give you travel up or it will make the, you know, algorithm vulnerable. Okay, then RC4 example, if you take a practical example of RC4, assume that we have a 4 into 3 byte key, okay, yeah, that means we are just uh, discussing about a smaller version of uh, RC4, we are not uh, uh, saying that, uh, you know, uh, the size of S is uh, not 256 bytes, instead it is, uh, you know, um, 3 byte into, uh, you know, basically 3 byte means uh, up to uh, 
eight, uh, you know, uh, up to seven can be generated in decimal or eight values can be there. OK, so we are uh, just discussing a reduced version to make your concept clear. So if you see, assume we have a four into three bit key K and plain text P as below. So your K is one, two, three and six and your plain text is one, two, two and two. OK, and uh, instead of doing a, you know, an 8 bit calculation, we are going to do it in 3 bit calculation. Understand? Mm -hmm. So initialize the state uh, vector S and temporary vector T. How to do that? You know, S is initialized uh, so that S i equal to i and T is initialized so that the key K is repeated as necessary. So as you know that at the beginning, S gets uh, you know, all possible values in ascending order. Uh, now here we have three bits. So using three bit, we can generate uh, you know, uh, the possible values are zero to seven and they are arranged here in ascending order in S. And if you look at T, T is just repetition of K. K was one, two, three and six. And here we look at T, one, two, three, six, one, two, three, six. So T is repeated two times and it is able to fill up the T OK, and the how the size of T is decided. The size of T is always equal to size of S. OK, so you understood after this, I think clearly. Now perform the initial permutation on S. So we know how to do the initial permutation for the first iteration. What we do? We take I equal to zero and J is definitely zero. So J equal to we update the value of J and the, for the first time it gives you 0 plus 0 plus uh, ti it is 1 1 so mod 8 equal to 1 then so we will show up s0 and s1 okay so if we show up s0 and s1 you can see s0 is 0 s1 is 1 so it is going to be show up like this s0 become 1 and in the one location 0 came okay so the updated value of s our updated sequence of S after first iteration is going to look like this. Now, if you continue this for the all, possible, all the values are in the S, what is going to happen? So, you see, after uh, doing this in the previous slide, we had S like this and T was like this. All right. So, okay, when I equal to 0 and J equal to 1, uh, if you do this calculation, okay, so I value is here and J value is calculated using this, uh, you know, calculation. So using this equation. So <clears throat> when you put here I equal to zero, you will get J equal to one. So this, you know, the change here had done. Okay, then in the next iteration, I will simply, uh, you know, become one. And if you put here i equal to one, s one is zero, so this value becomes zero, okay. And previous value of j we have is one, so one, so here zero, and t one is two, so so one plus zero plus two is three, so three mod eight is three, so j is become three. So now we will swap between uh, s one and s three. S one is zero. S3 is 3. So 0 and 3 will be swapped. You can see 3 came here, 0 came here. And like this, you know, I increased uh, in the next iteration to 2. Mm, you know, if you calculate uh, J value with this uh, equation, previous value of J is 3, you put 3 here, plus SI, current value of I is 2. So S2, uh, here you check out what is S2. S2 is 1, so put 1 here. So then uh, then T2, right? T2 is going to give you uh, 3. So, so we are going to get 2 plus 3, 5 plus 3, 8, right? So this is going to be 8 mod 8, which is 0. So J is 0, OK? So we'll show up between uh, S2 and S0. So S2 is 2, uh, sorry, uh, we have to be updated on FTC. S2 is 2 here, S0 is 1 here. 2 and 1 is swapped. Clear. Then so on, and finally we'll find that S is going to be this, 237, 
46015. So you can see that uh, this is a very good, you know, um, uh, scrambling, okay, or permutation of the numbers, okay, quite random. So we have got the S. Once we have S, use this to generate key stream to generate uh, our cipher. Okay, so now we, it is going for encryption process. So encryption uh, continues uh, the shuffling array, uh, array values. Uh, some of the shuffled fair uh, selects stream key value from the permutation. And we do jar XT with next byte of message to encrypt or decrypt. Okay, so for encryption, what we are doing here, uh, not encryption, sorry, it is a basically key stream generation. Okay. Um, we, and as uh, right now we have this uh, three bits, so mod eight we are using here. Okay, while well, true, I and so initially I and uh, J is initialized to zero. Now we calculate the value of I like this. This is nothing but just increasing I by one every time and mod eight. And J is equal to J plus S I. And we shraf S I S J again. Okay, then we calculate T. We calculate T by doing S I plus S J mod 8 and what is the then we go to the tth location whatever we find that we put in the K and that is the key stream. So this is the thing I was showing you in this uh, here, here in this diagram. We have a so we have I we have J okay we pull the value of S I and S J and we add them together okay and we go to you know that new location uh, which is s you know s in s i plus s j so it's here it is taking you to this location and pull the value what is there in this location as k stream k okay so in this way it uh, generate uh, you know the this is the key scheduling algorithm so in this way it generate uh, the uh, key stream then you <coughs> do, you know, okay, so, so yeah, so if you look at this example, okay, in the after the first and at the first iteration, what it is going to give you is k equal to 5, okay. So, this is what is the you know, first, you know. Uh, byte, the byte I'm saying, but it is decimal. This decimal number can be, uh, you know, converted to three bit. So first three bit, uh, you know, generated as key stream. Okay. So what we need to plain text we have, and we will take uh, uh, first three bit from the plain text, and k is five here. So so that is one. Okay. So five jar one we will do. So one is our plain text. Five is the key string. Okay. So five means one zero one in binary. Jar one means zero zero one in binary. And if you operation, you will get one zero zero, which is four in decimal. So a cipher is generated as four. Okay. So RC four example. If you see here, you know the, this one we had taken because our plain text I had uh, given you. Uh, you know, one, two, two. So afterward, uh, you know, uh, the operations can be done like this, and you will find, you know, uh, one, this, uh, on a P is one, one is converted to four, two is cipher to three, and the next two is cipher to two, and another two is cipher to three. Okay, so your cipher text is going to be four, three, two, three. This is going to be a cipher text, which, is be, which will be sent to the recipient. Okay. So RC4 uh, security, it is claimed secure against known attacks. However, have some analysis, uh, you know, some on the bars of uh, practical and first 256 bytes have, uh, have some bias. So, you know, uh, at the beginning, it is better to, you know, discard the first uh, 256 bytes generated by the key scheduler, uh, you know, and then uh, multiple keys uh, you know, or same plain text attack uh, is a problem or a vulnerability for it. And uh, result is uh, very nonlinear. That is a good thing. And since RC4 is a stream cipher, must never reuse the key. 
so what key you are using for you know communicating something uh, uh, right now after some time if you are uh, you know initiating a new communication you should not repeat the key okay and have a concern with wp but due to the key handling rather than rc4 itself so in wep you know you know wireless uh, um, you know security wep you are familiar with you have heard this name so in wep rc4 was uh, you know being used but later uh, they are not using it uh, uh, and uh, there was a problem with it uh, but the problem was basically handling the uh, handling uh, you know the keys of rc4 but uh, the problem was not the, with the security of rc4 okay so here are the some uh, references for you can follow the stylings book uh, okay and some other resources <clears throat> 